Well, I'm right, correct? It is so different. But as you prepare, you can also have a mental image of what you're going to do later on. As I always say, okay, after you prepare, when you execute the entire experiment, the experiment will be smoother for you. And along the way, remember, this is about redox. So as you do, remind yourself what are the important things to observe. Are you ready? Let's begin! Now we have finished preparing, it's time to do our execution. However, before we start, let's remember that there are two important gases that we are testing here, hydrogen gas and oxygen gas. So, we normally use a splint to test for this gas. So it's important that you test your Bunsen burner. It's working well, I light it up, lift it at the side and go back to our main focus over here. Come, let's begin. They say over here, add about 2 cm depth of solution W into a clean test tube. To this test tube, add solution Y, drop Y with shaking until no further changes are seen. Part A, add W. This is my Y, drop Y. Okay, so Let's come to here so that everybody can see drop wise, drop by drop. The moment I add a drop, you notice that the purple decolorized, but I see a pale yellow solution with effervescent forming. Okay, there are gases coming out. Okay, more gases. And they say add until no further changes are seen. Means that as I add, they should give me a permanent color, a deep yellow solution. I use my thumb to cover to prevent the gas from escaping. Okay. Now, let's prepare our splint. This is a lighted splint. This is a splint. So let me prepare a lighted splint first. Lighted splint. Okay, to test if there's a pop sound. No pop sound. Stopper it back. Okay, now let's make sure that I have a glowing splint. So there's no hydrogen. However, I need to test if there is oxygen gas. Let me bring it in. It's very obvious that it rekindled, okay? Whoa! And the test tube is really hot and there are effervescent forming over here. Okay, let me write down my observation. First, describe the color that you see. Solution W is a colorless solution. Upon, sorry, you must continue on. Solution Y is a purple solution upon adding y into w y decolorize giving a yellow solution you notice solution is important because you don't see any precipitate and remember effervescent is formed now, if you forget what is the spelling of effervescent, do not fret. Under your QA notes here, which I call, normally call the Bible, they have the spelling here, E-F-F-E-R-V-E-S-C-E-N-C-E. -E -E -E. So replace all the bubbles by this word effervescent, E-F-F-E-R-V-E-S-C-E-N-C-E. -E -E -E. Okay, so effervescent evolved. Okay, and then when gas evolve, you use a lighter splint, a glowing splint tested with glowing splint, comma, it rekindle. O2 is present. Okay. Now, remember solution Y is purple initially upon adding W into Y into W. You notice that Y decolorized, giving a yellow solution, okay? Now, uh, there's one portion here. I don't feel that it's a yellow solution only because it's a deep yellow solution. I'm going to write down, giving a dark yellow solution. Okay, now I'm satisfied with my answer. Let's move on to the part B now. Add about 2 cm depth of solution W into a clean test tube. Okay, now I have all the marking here, so I just need to follow the marking at W. Followed by H2SO4. Follow the marking. Follow the marking. 
Then they say at y. And in this part here, the y is five drops. So drop wise, one, two, three, four, five. Shake. All right. Okay. So you notice that initially it's clear. Upon adding, it become a purple solution over here. And upon shaking, it's still purple. I don't see any effervescent form yet. Okay. But they say observe the test tube for about a minute over here. So I'm going to write down my observation here first. Solution W is a colorless solution solution y is purple solution upon adding five drops of y solution gives a purple solution okay it's a purple solution now we have to let it wait and see if there are any more uh, changes so I'm going to use my stopwatch it's about a minute so I'm going to test it and I will stop when the minute is up now because I start my stopwatch later okay I will stop the stopwatch before the one minute is up Before the minute is up, I actually see some effervescent forming, okay, but it seems a little bit small, okay, but uh, I really see some effervescent forming. However, they say at five drop portion of Y three times, and after each five drop addition, shake the test tube and observe the mixture. So I'm going to follow suit, okay, but because I see some effervescent, I'm going to test. Same thing, hydrogen gas and oxygen gas, okay. No sound. Okay. It doesn't seem to be liked it, but I'm going to add some more. One, two, three, four, five. Shake. Okay, the purple decolorize. All right. One, two, three, four, five. The purple decolorize. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, there are more uh, effervescent observed right now. So let me check if this time round I will see any changes. No pop sound. Okay, but there are. It's very evident that there is oxygen gas. Uh, there is gases. Okay, what gas is that? I'm I'm not sure, but I kind of like let out the word oxygen. Okay, so I'm going to write down. Okay, upon adding five drops of Y. Solution decolorize, giving a clear solution. Effervescence is evolved. E F F E R V E S C E N C E. Okay, effervescent is observed. Is observed. Okay, when tested with a glowing split okay some of you will be wondering okay i know it rekindle now some of you will be wondering okay um o2 is present some of you might be saying that but just now we didn't see a result well i will explain later in the at the end of the experiment let's move on to part c first now part c here add about two cm of solution x into a clean test tube and to this test tube okay we add about one cm depth of sulfuric acid and add another two cm depth of solution w place the test tube in the test tube rack to allow its content to settle so let's just follow okay 
you need your X. And then H2SO4, I, I am just barely following the marking and it is so useful. Then we have W, okay, W over here. Whoa, okay, I see color, light yellow, and then slowly it become a brown solution. So what I'm going to do is they say, uh, place a test tube indirect to allow it to settle. Now, first of all, do you see effervescent? There's really no effervescence, so I'm not going to test for the gas. So I'm going to place it right in front. And right now, I'm going to write down what I see, okay? Solution X is a colorless solution, okay? When W, okay, sorry, solution W is also a colorless solution. Okay, I hope you all can see over here. All right, okay. When W is added to X, solution change from colorless to yellow. Okay, now there's one more part. You have to let it settle, okay? So I'll let it settle, I'll come back to it. So right now, let's move on to part D so that we don't waste our time waiting. Okay, over here they say add about 1 cm depth of solution X into a clean test tube to this test tube, add about 2 cm depth of solution W and shake the test tube. So part D now, X. I'm just following the marking and this method is just so, so useful. Whoa, that's a lot of effort person. Quickly stopple with my thumb. <laughs> I'm a little slow here. Okay, but hopefully it didn't escape. So next time, do it faster than me, okay? So let's see. No sound. Okay, let's see if it rekindles, all right? It's very obvious that it relights. I get it, it just burned brighter. So I'm going to put it down, all right? So... X is a colorless solution. W is a colorless solution. When X is, when W is added, solution change to a yellow solution. Effervescent, E F F E R V E S C E N C effervescence evolve when tested with light glowing splint. Ah, glowing splint. It rekindle. O2 present. Okay. Now, let's go back to this part. Let's check what happened to the yellow solution. Initially, it's yellow. Now, it becomes a deep brown. Okay, now to check the color. All right, so I'm going to let it. Now, if it's a solution, light will pass through. It's very obvious that light didn't pass through over here at this part. So, it means that there's a precipitate. What precipitate color? you will be given a white, uh, white towel. So it looked a little bit reddish brown to me. So I'm going to write down over here, solution change to, uh, to a yellow, solution change from colorless to yellow upon settling a brown, I hope you all can see, a reddish brown PPT is observed. Okay, full stop. So we have finished the entire execution.